Mm -hmm. yeah. Today could be historic in Minnesota high school sports as they look to add a new sport. Boys volleyball is on the docket. Now you may remember a similar effort failed by just two votes last year. So they're trying again. Shayla Reeves live at a rally with supporters in Maple Grove this morning. Hi, Shayla. Hi, good morning to you. And today, supporters would like to see a different decision later this morning. We know the league is scheduled to vote coming up in just over a couple of hours at 9 o'clock. And they're hoping this time they will get that support to see high school boys volleyball become a sanctioned sport. I'm here this morning right now with Walt Weaver. He is a Hall of Fame Minnesota State High School League coach. Thank you for joining me this morning. Oh, I'm just <laughs> happy to be here, and I'm happy you're here. Yes, yes. So tell me what this would mean to see this decision today from the league to get that support for this to become a sanctioned sport. Well, in just a, a, a minute of, of explaining all of that, it started about five years ago. So we've been uh, trying, we came to the high school league and said, what would we need to do to get boys volleyball into the schools? And they told us, uh, you know, you've got to prove that there's a lot of interest out there. And otherwise the high school league has no no way to come in and help you. So mm -hmm. that was our job, and we uh, we set up this club league that exists right now. That in those in that first year before we we did this, there was forty about forty boys in the state playing volleyball. Yeah. And uh, we decided to create this league and just see what the interest was. And we got about um, oh four basically about four hundred kids the first year, about twenty schools. Right. But let's make it short, five years later is where we are right now. It never got sanctioned during that period of time, uh, but we kept working at it. And now there are 1,400 boys playing volleyball in this club league. And so we have, so to speak, shown the high school league that the interest is well beyond what anybody ever would have thought. It's definitely and there. 125 teams, 53 schools participating. What will being a sanctioned sport allow this sport to do? Well, it's not so much the sport. It's the boys that are, that are playing it. The difference is right now they are playing in what we call a club league. So it, it's not, it's, we, we did it to affiliate them with their school, but they're just using the school's name. So they're not really an official sport in the school like basketball would be or right. hockey would be or baseball or softball. They, they are just affiliated with the school. Right. So a, a sanctioned sport now, if it gets sanctioned, that means they will then become as official as these other sports and they'll get to play for their school. And so that's the difference. That's a big deal. In 10 seconds or less, I know a rally is coming up at 7. The, the league's going to vote at 9. If you could deliver a message to those casting those votes, what would you want them to hear? Well, we've been casting that message for quite a while. And I think that, that all of us, including them, I think love to give kids opportunity. And right now there's an awful lot of boys out there that want to play volleyball and look to the future thousands and thousands more that would get this opportunity to play a great sport in their school mm -hmm. and i you know I, I think that this year i think that the high school league recognizes that all and right we got we hope to have a lot of fans out there so wonderful thank you so much walt yeah, for joining me this morning welcome. yes absolutely of course jason and heather that vote coming up at nine o'clock this morning we'll keep you posted on the outcome here on wcco Okay, Shayla, thank you. In just a matter of hours, Minnesota State High School League is going to vote on whether boys high school volleyball should be moved from being a club to being an official sanctioned sport. Yeah, they tried it last year, failed by just two votes, but supporters are optimistic that it'll happen this year. There's a rally happening in Maple Grove this morning. Our Shayla Reeves is there. Shayla, good morning. Hi, good morning to you, Heather. That rally is actually going to get underway in less than half an hour at 7 o'clock. And we wanted to talk to some of the folks who are going to be impacted with how this decision plays out. Whether or not it becomes a sanctioned sport, it's the players that are going to feel that. I'm here with Hien Wen and Augie Stukenberg, both of you seniors at your respective school. What would this mean to you, Hien, to see this decision come down and this uh, sport become sanctioned? Well, volleyball has meant a lot to me. I've grown up playing volleyball ever since my freshman year, and I've met a lot of people due to volleyball, and the community is just wonderful. We have more and more schools joining volleyball every single year, and it'd just be a real shame to watch it fall because of its own success. And for you, Augie, you play for Eden Prairie. 
What does volleyball mean to you? Um, you know, volleyball has been a huge part of my life, um, and sports really have been for a while, but volleyball was the first one that really clicked to me, right? I mean, it's been, I've put a ton of time into it, right? It's been one of my biggest, probably my biggest commitment throughout high school, and seeing it sanctioned would just be, it would mean a lot to see that kind of get recognized by the Minnesota High School League. And again, senior, you play for Shakopee Heehan. Um, what would being sanctioned allow you to do? Um, of course, it allow us to advertise more. It would allow more people to join into volleyball. Right now, Shakopee, we already have four teams of varsity, JV, and two JV2 teams. And with the sanctioned sport like volleyball, we'd, able, we'd be able to have more kids join into the program especially those who are into basketball and stuff like that. I know a lot of kids who play basketball that are also really into volleyball, so it would be really nice to just see more and more people from the sports and athletic community join into volleyball. For you, Augie, what does it mean? Um, I know you all are seniors, but what would it mean to the kids that come after you to see this decision come down in your favor for them? Yeah, I mean, our program um, in Prairie, like Shakopee, is, is really big, right? We have a ton of JV2 programs, um, and a lot of those kids, especially on the JV2 teams, are middle schoolers, and I think it would, it would really be a shame for those kids to not get a chance to play the sport that they've loved and that they've put time into for the last few years um, as an official high school sport. And before we let you go, 10 seconds or less, Ian, if you could say anything to those casting their vote uh, in a couple of hours at 9 o'clock, what would you want them to hear? Well, again, more and more schools are joining this sport every year. There's so many kids that have a passion and love for this sport. Please don't let this sport collapse because of its own success. Thank you so much, Ian. Thank you, Augie, as well, for joining us. Of course, the rally is coming up this morning at 7 o'clock. And then at 9 o'clock this morning, we know that there will be a vote. The Minnesota State High School League officials will make their decision on whether or not high school boys volleyball can become a sanctioned sport. So we're going to keep an eye on those developments throughout the morning. I'll go ahead and send it back to you, Jason and Heather. And the flip side of this, Shale, of course, is that there's concern about school resources, when the season would be, right. paying for coaches, those sorts of things that schools do not do right now. So we'll watch it today. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So it's not.